Ten years ago, the HBO series Girls premiered and it changed Zasha Mehmet's life. She went on to star alongside her real-life best bestie, Kaylee Cuoco, in the hit show, and you know what? The Flight Attendant. Yeah, it's so good. Now she's exploring one of her passions, food, and her new book of essays. It's called My, My First, First Popsicle. Popsicle. How cute are you? This book is so awesome because I think so many of us have memories in relation to, to food. Yes. And it's also like they're more than just about what you're eating. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, definitely. I mean, that's what I really wanted to tap into. I felt like it was this incredibly universal thing that we could all relate to, that we all have these emotional attachments and memories and familial connections and traditions intertwined with food. Mm -hmm. Well, we want to get to the book. I want to hear all about it. But I'm so interested in you and this role of flight, in the flight attendant. Mm -hmm. And, you know, sometimes we get things because we didn't get something else. Totally. Yeah. You meet the great guy because you were yeah. dating that, that guy dumped you and you yeah. meet the right guy. And you're like, this is perfect. But that kind of happened to you. You were auditioning for another role. So what's the story there? So I was auditioning for this TV show and it was the lead of this TV show. And it was this whole rigmarole, this like very intense process. And I sort of didn't even want this part, but through the process of trying to get it, I convinced myself yes. that I did. Yes. It had to and have it was, it. I had to chase. have it. It's a yeah. chase. Yes. And I, it was done to me and one other girl and I didn't get it. And I was just so devastated. Yeah. And I would put so much of myself into this process of attempting yeah. to get this part. Yeah. And I was just kind of like left empty after yeah. it. And the day I found out that I didn't get it, the audition for flight attendant came in and I just kind of didn't have anything left, left to give. I didn't have any, I didn't have any boundaries. I couldn't like, well, that's interesting. yeah, you know, I just was like, I was myself because I was just so sad that mm -hmm. I hadn't gotten this right. part. You weren't trying super I hard. No, I, could, I couldn't. You couldn't. Because I just like, I was kind of running on empty. Yeah. And, and I like went that. in and I had a chemistry read with Kaylee and I read the script and it was so great. And I loved this part and I showed up and we got to, they were like, feel free to improv. And I just kind of went for it and it birthed into this incredible experience, and I met one of my best friends. Yeah, I mean, oh that shows God. you everything, because first of all, is that show still on the air, the one that one you that didn't, didn't get? get? Did it ever go on the air? It did, and it got canceled. And this show, so The Flight Attendant. Wait, so, wait, let's just have a moment. Yeah. So sad. Okay, moving on. <laughs> the yeah. Flight Attendant's a huge hit, and yeah. you met this, like, soul Your best sister. Literally, like, my, I mean, you know, I will be an aunt to her child. Like, it's just, you know, it was the most incredible experience. Making adult friends is something we actually talk a we lot about. I love that. Did you think that you would make such a close friend at this stage in your life? Never. I mean, I think it's so hard. You know, I always say as kids, it's like we don't have any of those insecurities or that yeah. self-awareness. And so when you're a child and you want to be friends with someone, you're literally like, want to be my friend? Yeah, yeah. totally. And then as an adult, you're like, I don't know. Does this pre is that weird? And right. so I feel like we just don't really do that. Mm -hmm. And so the gift of finding someone that's not only a friend, but like a life, like a, a sister, like a, like a family member yeah. 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 is just, it's so unexpected. And y'all got matching tats. We did. Where, yeah. What you got? Um, oh, I have one down here. Oh, you got two matching tats? We have two, we have two we have one. Tats? Yeah, Wait, that's, what? We have one. What we have that boop, say? So boop. our, um, our chemistry read Kaylee out of nowhere. Um, <laughs> she, the scene starts and she walked up to me and she tapped me on the shoulder and I swatted her hand away. Um, and she went, on my nose, and it, I don't know, we just started calling each other boo. boo. I Did love that. So hard? I loved so hard, and it was just, it was so organic. It was like, everyone thinks that we knew each other before, and we, we didn't. Yeah, I yeah. love that. Let's talk more about your book, yeah. because this sounds like such a great concept. How did it come to you? I like the idea of it, <laughs> but did it come like a, a bolt of lightning? How did it, it kind it of did. We were having dinner with friends of ours who were running late, and when they got there, they were like, I'm so sorry, we gave our toddler a popsicle for the first time, mm -hmm. And he had the most incredible experience with it, and we just had to stay to watch it. And they showed us this video of him, and he's just like every emotion you could possibly think of. Like that like, chart. Yes, it was just, it was like, I keep saying it's like a Netflix special of emotions. Like he puts the popsicle in his mouth, and at first he's like totally just scared. He was like, yeah. I don't like yeah, this. Cold. What is this? Too cold. And then he gets kind of like, really into it, and then all of a sudden he gets a brain freeze, and he's like, I don't want it. Um, and it just sparked this idea of these firsts that we have with food. First, yeah. And how we don't really have that anymore. But I was like, you know, I think that still, we all have these emotional connections to food. And I yeah. feel like no matter what your background is, your age, where you come from, good. 
We all... And you wrote... A be so this is a collection of essays. Yeah. Some of your friends, Katie Holmes, other people mm -hmm. wrote yeah. beautiful essays. Yours yes. was... Kaylee wrote one. Yours yeah. was particularly moving. Yeah. And it was sort of about a uh, hard yeah. time in your childhood where you would get this relief mm -hmm. from your grandma. Yeah. My grandma loved Christmas, and she instilled this epic love <laughs> of Christmas in me. And I was really bullied as a kid. Um, and the school year was pretty rough, but we would go back to her house in Massachusetts for Christmas. And it was this two-week period that was just heaven. And um, it was this reprieve from, you know, this awful school that I went to. Isn't that interesting? I mean, look how, look how you turned out as a grown-up. I mean, that <laughs> difficult childhood was probably, like, the toughest part of your life. And now, look at you now. Like, I always think, like, a tough childhood means kind of an easier adulthood. And I a feel resilience like and a yeah. grit. Well, we're into you. Congratulations. Oh, you are so oh, yeah. into you. Do you want to get matching tattoos? Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. You Don't threaten find, me with a good time. You can find <laughs> Sasha's book, My First Popsicle, at today.com slash books. Sasha, it's really, really yeah. beautiful. Thank awesome. you so Thank much. Thank you for having me.